May 28th, St. Augustine of Canterbury. This 6th century bishop is famous for his missionary work in England. He is not to be confused with St. Augustine of Hippo, the great church thinker of the 4th century. Augustine was the prior or abbot of a monastery in Rome. In the year 596, the Pope, St. Gregory the Great, chose him to lead a group of thirty monks on a missionary journey to england there were some scattered christian communities there but the land as a whole was still predominantly anglo-saxon and pagan augustine's group set out but on reaching france heard terrifying stories of the treacherous waters of the english channel and the ferocious temperament of the anglo-saxons augustine hurried back to confer with the pope but Gregory reassured him that his fears were groundless and sent him back on his way. The missionaries arrived in England in the year 597. King Ethelbert, a pagan married to a Christian, received them kindly and their work flourished. On Pentecost Sunday the king was baptized along with many of his subjects. Augustine journeyed briefly to France where he was consecrated a bishop and then returned to England, establishing his see or diocese in Canterbury. The see at Canterbury continued to prosper, and additional dioceses were later established at London and Rochester. Not all of Augustine's efforts were successful. His attempts to reconcile the Anglo-Saxon converts and the original Christian inhabitants of England failed, and for a time the missionary's work progressed slowly, but by the time of St. Augustine's death in the year 605, a solid foundation for England's later widespread conversion to Christianity had been established. In this story, we can see that even saints can be reluctant to fulfill their mission. St. Augustine had to be encouraged by the Pope, who helped him overcome his fears by telling him, He who would climb to a lofty height must go by steps, not leaps.